<laughs> Isn't that satisfying? An intellectual patroon. A slab of the gallion. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. And I'm not just even talking about my face. Yes, a slab of the gallion. So I'm sure you guys saw the interview of the first MCB female leader. Yeah? Now, you guys know how it is. The West loves to poke and prod at Islam saying, How come Islam doesn't do this? And the measure somehow are liberal values. Yeah, that's how they measure everything. But here, finally, you get a female Muslim leader rather than bringing her on board and saying, You know what? You're doing a good job. Well done, mate. All that sort of stuff. They say, Hang on a minute. And how many uh, female Imams are there? What? And then she gives one of those answers because, let's face it, that's not why she's there. I mean, I think, again, I'm not, I, I wouldn't have a clue on these numbers because my role is making sure that we include our affiliates, particularly women, in the work that we are doing. And she goes, yeah, but you're not really answering my question. How many female imams are there? But do, do we have female imams in this country? And then again, she politely declines. Exactly. I don't feel like that's within the parameters of my roles and responsibilities. Yeah, but how many female imams are there? D do we, so, do we have female imams? Like, flipping heck, mate, like, calm down. It's quite striking that you, you can't sort of answer that question. You're, you're a joke. Do we have female imams? You are an absolute joke. The question now here is that this very woman that's interviewing her, when she was asked about female rabbis, she wasn't having none of it. Then why is it that when it comes to a Muslim, there's different standards? You're completely a contradictory person. You make me sick. That's a question that I think you really need to ask yourselves. And it just goes to show that some people, no matter how much you bend over backwards, they will not be happy with however much you compromise. Yeah, so the best thing to do is to stick with your values. And yeah, don't feel the need to fit into the liberal paradigm as it were you know what i'm saying and you know what guys it's interviews like this that further seek to divide us yeah any opportunity to highlight the differences do, do we so do we have female imams are you sick in the mind are you that mentally enslaved and intellectually subservient and intellectually molested and in ideologically molested when in the quran it tells us to unite on common grounds yeah that's the best thing to unite on and here you've got an organization that's trying to increase cohesion within the british community but that's not good enough for the bbc now if you want to know about female imams that's fine yeah but asking at this inopportune time shows the insincerity behind their intentions now some people are responding by saying you know what it's the media deal with it stop being snowflakes yeah so all right fair enough let's let the next interview be about female rabbis in fact i can't even remember the last time we were discussing female rabbis when for example talking about the israel uh, palestine conflict yeah next time you bring someone on say you know what let's put that on pause for a moment why don't we have female rabbis people are going to be like what on earth is going on yeah there's clearly an agenda behind this but here whenever we mention that it's not good enough for people until next time yeah this is for all of you guys who say you don't see me out and about enough always on the sofa so there you go yeah just leave me alone yes a slab of the galleon assalamu alaikum